guys, welcome back to Chrissy's Craft Room. My name is Chrissy Isabel and I am the owner of Emma Love Shop. Today I'm gonna do a video about me, um, who I am and a little bit of my background. Um, one of my subscribers requested that I do a video uh, talking a little bit about me, who I am, my background, where I'm from. If this is something you want to see, then keep on watching. So my name is Chrissy um, and I am a mom. I have two beautiful daughters, Emma and Aria. Emma is three years old and Aria is three months old. And I started Emma Love Shop back in 2016. It started off as just a craft. Um, my husband went out one day for Christmas and bought me the Cricut Air 2. And that's basically what opened up um, my mind and my creativity to starting a shop. Um, when I first had Emma, I went back to work for a short time when she turned three months old. Um, I was working really part-time. So, you know, to me, it wasn't really worth going in to work only for a few hours a week um, and having to travel and leave Emma, you know, with a babysitter or anything like that. So I decided to go full on head first into creating my own business and my own brand. And that is why I opened up Emma Love Shop on Etsy. Um, it just became something that I totally fell in love with. I was always creative as a child, to be honest. Um, I loved drawing. I loved, um, you know, sketching and creating. I would write like songs and stuff and do a lot of things like that um, as a young child. And as I grew older, um, I kind of fell out of that. Um, I lost touch with that. You know, when you get into your teenage years and stuff like that, other things become important. Maybe. And just hanging out with my friends was more important than anything. So I kind of like lost that part of myself. And when I started crafting again, and the more deeper I get into different crafts and different techniques, I, I'm starting to really fall in love with it even more. And I'm still learning and I'm still trying to find... Um, you know my passion and what I'm really passionate about and what I really enjoy creating um, I know there's certain things that aren't as fun to create as other things or I just don't feel the passion for so I know that maybe a year from now my shop may look a little different depending on what I find is um, you know more exciting to me to create and where I find my inspiration from so hopefully in the future you know you guys will continue to love all the stuff that I have brought out for you guys and you continue to follow me on this journey because it is something so important to me and um, it means a lot you know as a stay-at-home mom or work-at-home mom you know trying to help my husband provide with two kids it's challenging and there are hard days because you know it's not constant so you have good months and you have bad months and you know it's it's very challenging trying to build your own shop and become your own boss but it's something that i'm not going to give up on and i'm going to continue to work on that so let's move on from emma love shop and all that stuff and just continue and um, talking a little bit about me since so I'm Puerto Rican. I'm a New Year Rican basically because my Spanish is crap <laughs> But I was uh, born and raised in New York um, My parents both born in Puerto Rico. They moved to New York when they were little kids and um, I love my heritage and my nationality and um, and you know my, my husband is Puerto Rican as well, so you know we we, we kept it in in the in the culture not not that there's anything wrong with going outside of the culture but it just so happened that i found a hot puerto rican with green eyes and i went for it right so, so i am 32 years old and i'm currently living in miami florida but i'm originally from new york queens new york i was born and raised there my whole entire life um you know my parents are still in my original house that I was raised in in Queens New York and I do go about once or twice a year I try and go and visit my parents do come to Florida every now and again but 
um, they do still live in New York and I don't see them ever moving to Florida so there's that which I'm fine with I mean I would love to have them here with me but at least it gives me a reason to go back to New York and I love New York so much I just um, can't see myself totally moving there especially now that I have a family and we're kind of like settled it's been about 10 years since I've moved here um, actually moved here when I was 21 turning 22 or I think I had yeah 21 turning 22 I decided to just up and leave New York um, honestly it was a kind of spur of the moment decision I was having a really hard time in my life at that time um, things were just not going right I had a really good job I was a dental assistant in New York um, I had a really good job in the city um, as a dental assistant but I decided you know what I'm out of here I've always loved coming to Florida I have a cousin that lives here that we were very close so I always used to come and visit back and forth so it was just instinct instinctual I said I'm gonna leave New York I need the beach I need Sun I need palm trees so I just basically told my parents listen if you guys support me 100% um, I need to go to Florida I need to find something else in my life and I quit my job I called my cousin I said can I stay with you for a couple months so I figure out what I'm doing with my life she said sure no problem she flew to New York and then we drove 21 hours straight from New York to Miami, Florida. And the rest is history, basically. Um, I lived with her for a little while and then a couple months after I moved here, um, you know, I, I went back to New York for the New Year's and I almost didn't come back to Miami. Um, I was having a really hard time finding a job as a dental assistant. The pay is so much lower here than it is in New York. I mean, I was taking a huge hit pay cut um, and you know, it was just really hard. Um, I didn't think I was gonna be able to make it on my own living in Miami, but sure enough, when I was in New York for the holidays, I got a phone call from one of the dental offices that I had submitted my resume and had went on an interview and they hired me and they basically said when you get back from New York we can start so that was pretty much it that is what hooked me um, then I met my now husband um, shortly after that or I think before that because I had met him but we were just friends hanging out or whatever um, and yeah when I got back to New York, things just kind of fell into place. And so that's how I ended up in Miami. Um, I started dating my husband. Um, we lived together for several years before even thinking about, we got together in 09 and we got married in 2014. And pretty much once we got together, we knew we wanted you know it was serious so we moved in together right away it was actually probably faster than any normal couple no, normal couple should move in with each other but we did it we took the plunge and here we are you know almost 10 years later married with two beautiful kids and two cats and a lizard and fish so I'm very grateful for how my life ended up um, and I'm just, you know, keeping my head above the water and thankful and, and grateful and so blessed to be where I am today. And I can only pray and hope that, you know, with further support and love from all you guys and all my followers and supporters and everyone that's been following my journey since day one on Instagram, um, you know, continue to support me so that nothing but growth can come out of this and you know finding myself as a person as a woman as a entrepreneur um, and I hope that maybe I can inspire somebody out there to follow their own dreams and to do whatever it is that you want to do even if it's just a hobby or you know it's maybe maybe you know you don't want to 
open your own shop in your house or whatever you don't want to do crafts maybe you love to dance maybe you love to sing maybe you like to play an instrument or draw or whatever it is i just hope that i can inspire somebody out there to do what you love and never give up yeah, and i want to support you guys and and you know and that's one of the reasons why i decided to do youtube is because i learned so much from so many people out there in the YouTube world and I followed you know along with so many tutorials and looking for inspiration and I found so much and I grew so much from watching all those videos and I just want to give back to everyone out there because I believe that there is enough to go around and I don't have any secrets um, with anything and I just want to help everyone I want to help people be better and do better and share my craft and my love for crafting with you guys whether it's making a shirt making a cup um, you know glittering ornaments um, maybe you know canvas paintings anything whatever it is that I love to do um, you know I hope that you guys will follow me along on this journey anyways I hope that you guys loved following along with this little video about me um, if there's anything that I didn't answer for you guys or you have any other questions please let me know in the comments and if you haven't already please hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos on my channel I have so many amazing things coming up Christmas is right around the corner and I have exciting exciting DIY things for you guys for this upcoming holiday so thanks again for being here i love you all thank you so much